Sephra and I have this fun habit to name objects that we really love. So let me introduce you to Maddie, Pappy, and Goldie. If you guys are new to this channel, I'm sure you're wondering why I'm showing off these three beautiful shakers right now. But if you are used to the channel, I'm sure you noticed already that I've been using this one in pretty much all my cocktail videos. Sephra bought it for me a few years ago for my birthday and I've been loving it since then. And apparently you guys love it as well because you've been a lot to ask me where you could buy it. Well, good news today. Cocktail Emporium is the place where you can buy it and they were also kind enough to offer you guys 15% discount on this collection if you use Truffles15 at checkout. So I'm gonna link their website in the pinned comment down below with the promo code so you don't forget it. That being said, I now have three beautiful glass shakers in my collection, so I thought it would be fun to make three delicious cocktails. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. Today, three classic cocktail recipes that I sourced in the Cocktail Survival Handbook from my friends at the Bonneville Cocktail Collection. During pandemic, they were not able to release any cocktail videos, but they still wanted to share their passion for cocktails, so they had this amazing idea to release a free downloadable ebook with 15 cocktail recipes. They divided the cocktail book in three sections, very simple, average, and a little more advanced. And today I picked my favorite one from each section and we're gonna start right away with one of my favorite classic cocktails of all time, the daiquiri. For me, the daiquiri is straight up perfection. To have such a tasty cocktail with so little ingredients, it is genius. So to make it, you're gonna pour in your shaker two ounces of your favorite light rum, and one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Now we have to balance this with sugar, and that's the part when your taste comes into play. In the book it says one part lime juice for one part simple syrup. I personally like it a little drier, so we're gonna go only with three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. And now we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake. A daiquiri needs to be ice cold in order to be perfect, so do not hesitate to shake it just a little longer than usual. So we're gonna strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. No double strain in this case. I think the little ice shards in the daiquiri make for an even better cocktail. And for the garnish, just a lime wheel or a lime wedge on the cocktail, just like that. And this, my friend, is how you make the daiquiri. Cheers. Mm. This is so good. Refreshing, limey, super light, the perfect summer cocktail. So now let's move on to the second cocktail, the Army and Navy. The Army and Navy is basically a gin sour with almond syrup and a dash of Angostura bitters. And there's a lot of different recipes that appear throughout the history in different cocktail books. And apparently some were really good, while some were really bad. So today we're gonna try the recipe from our friends at the Bonneville Cocktail Collection. Never tried it before, can't wait to see how it's gonna turn out. So we're gonna start with two ounces of gin. <laughs> one full ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, and a half an ounce of orgia syrup. I'm gonna finish with one dash of Angostura bitters. Fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. And 
And now we're gonna fine strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. And for the garnish, we're gonna express a beautiful zest of lemon. Just like that. And this, my friend, is how you make the Army and Navy. Now, let's give it a try. Mm. It is really good, perfectly balanced. I thought it would be maybe a little bit on the tart side because of the full ounce of lemon with just a half an ounce of orange syrup. But the orange is so rich that it's balanced perfectly. It is very refreshing, rich, almony. A little bit of the spice from the Angostura bitters comes through in the back palate. It is a beautiful cocktail. I highly recommend it. So that's it for the Army and Navy. Now let's move on to the third cocktail, a classic Mai Tai. Cocktail number three from the advent section of the Cocktail Survival Handbook, the Mai Tai. Kind of a guilty pleasure for many bartenders because it's known to be kind of kitsch a little bit, but when it's made properly, it is just pure deliciousness. So we're gonna start with two ounces of aged drum. In the cocktail book, they say two full ounce of aged drum. I personally like to go with one and a half of aged rum and half an ounce of Jamaican rum. That's a personal taste. If you only have one bottle of aged rum, just go for it. It's gonna be delicious anyway. So if you have Jamaican rum Andy, as I said, I recommend to go with half an ounce of it. I'm using Appleton Estate. Then we're gonna pour half an ounce of orange dry curacao. If you have Cointreau, Garn Marnier, any orange liqueur will do. I personally really like the dry curacao from Pierre Ferrand. Then we're gonna go with a quarter of an ounce of orange syrup. A quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. and one full ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. We can now fit our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. And now we're gonna fill a double rocks glass with ice and pour the cocktail over the ice. And for the garnish guys, this is a tiki cocktail, so you can go overboard if you want. You can use flowers, tropical fruits, you can even use like a tiny umbrella. This is up to you. I found a beautiful tiki tie clip in my wardrobe, so I'm gonna use that to clip a lime wheel with some fresh mint next to the cocktail. Just like that, this is plenty enough for me. And this, my friend, is how you make a Mai Tai. Cheers. Mm. Guys, I'm telling you, I have no idea why people are ashamed to order this cocktail in the bar. It is delicious. It is complex, it is rich, it is refreshing, simply amazing. So that's it for me today, guys. Don't forget to download the uh, ebook from my friends at the Bonneville Cocktail Collection. If you want to know what the 15 cocktails are, they all are delicious. So that's it for me today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this cocktail video. So today... <laughs> During pandemic, they were not able to make any videos.
Do we work now or we have to play?